So I'm hearing that Cody Rhodes will not be losing the WWE Championship anytime soon. Let's talk about it. So there was this report going around for the past couple of weeks talking about how WWE has been very happy with Cody Rhodes as WWE Champion. They look at him like this generation John Cena and you can see how they book him. He's all over interviews. He's all over the posters. He just became the first crown jewel champion. All this stuff. He's beating people left and right. Main event in WrestleMania. You can see how important Cody Rhodes is to WWE. So when I read this report and they said that they're very, they're so pleased with Cody Rhodes that they are not taking a championship off of him, that makes me worry, okay? That makes me worry. I'm a Cody Rhodes fan. I love Cody Rhodes. I respect him as the face of the company. Yes, he is the face of the company. People believe it's Roman Reigns. I think it's Cody Rhodes for obvious reasons, okay? I don't care how much aura Roman Reigns has. Cody Rhodes has aura and he is the face. You can just see it. He's all over the place. But anyway... So I heard that WWE won't be taking the title off him anytime soon. And I just got John Cena vibes, 07, 08, 09, John Cena vibes, 06. Yeah, I think it started back then. What was it, 06? Whatever. We knew. We lived through it. Now, right at the time, I was, a, I was a kid. I was a little Jimmy. I was a John Cena fan. I love John Cena. I love every time John Cena won. You know what I'm saying? As an adult now, I can get why some people did not like John Cena around that time of how overly pushed he was, uh, the Super Cena era, even though as a kid and even as an adult, I still enjoy Super Cena, watching those Super Cena matches, but I can understand why people was frustrated, why he was winning all the time. So it's looking like they about to make Super Cody, and actually they have been. I mean, the man beat Brock Lesnar, he beat... Gunther, he beat Roman Reigns for the WWE Championship. The man is just beating people left and right. We can see it. But not taking the title off of him anytime soon, it is going to spark backlash. It is going. I'm not talking about WrestleMania backlash. I'm talking about backlash in general. It's going to start. He is starting. He's going to start getting booed. I can see it happen. Cody Rhodes is going to start getting booed. I don't want that to happen, but if he's going to constantly be forced down our throats the way that John Cena was during his Super Cena era, people are going to turn against him. Cody Rhodes is going to start getting the love, the love him, hate him, boo, yeah, boo, yeah, John Cena reactions. If, if they really, really, really go forward with this. Now, for me, even though I'm a Cody Rhodes fan, I have been a fan of his WWE Championship reigns. The matches have been cooking. Every WWE Championship match, for the most part, has cooked. Except for the solo Sokoa match at SummerSlam. The best part was the ending. We all know why people like that, that match, because of the ending. But anyway, the match is cooked. The storylines, uh, you know, he's been with the bloodline the majority of the time. The AJ Styles storyline wasn't that good. The matches were great. The Logan Paul storyline was, uh... You know, the radio and Kevin Owens and Cody's storyline. Now, that's interesting. I can get along with that. But what happens when the bell rings? What happens when that championship is on the line? We already know that Cody Rhodes is going to win. And that is one thing about him being WWE champion that is starting to, you know, take fans away from him and want to switch sides to somebody else because he's always winning. He's always super booked. He's super booked. He's invincible. This guy can barely lose. Um, I can see the frustration. If we know now that Cody Rhodes will not be losing the WWE Championship anytime soon, every match that he has going forward, at least getting into WrestleMania, has a predictable outcome. Has a predictable outcome. We already know he's going to win. And that predictability is really going to make people even more bored of his title ring than they are now. I don't want that to, I don't want to see that for Cody. Because Cody Rhodes has worked so hard to get back to the point that he is right now. Wrestling with a torn pec. His bad booking in his early years in wrestling. He worked hard to get to the point that he's at right now. But I don't want to see him start getting booed, constantly booed. I mean, it, you know, everybody's going to get booed. You're not going to get 100% cheered by everybody. But I would just hate for him to just be this generation John Cena in a sense of you love him, hate him, the polarizing figure and things like that. Nah, nah, nah. 
I'm not rocking with that. I just hope that within this title reign leading into WrestleMania, because I feel like he is going to be the champion heading into WrestleMania, that they do a quick title change, maybe KO beats him in shock fashion. The way that they're booking KO, if KO just won the title for at least four and had it for a month, I wouldn't, I wouldn't sweat that, you know. But I know heading into WrestleMania, Cody Rhodes will be the WWE champion. So just switch it up a little bit. Let Randy beat him or let KO beat him. Let somebody just beat him and then let Cody get the title back handed to WrestleMania. Just throw some some unpredictability in there because if we know now that if Cody Rhodes is not losing the belt, like I mentioned a minute ago, if we already know deep down that they're not going to take the title off of him, every match that he has moving forward is going to have a predictable outcome. The bottom line is Cody Rhodes is the face of the company and he's going to get pushed by WWE. He is the white meat baby face. That's what they call it. He is the all-American good guy. How his booking is going forward, they have to be extremely careful. So but how do you feel about this whole Cody Rhodes situation? Do you enjoy his booking? Do you like his WWE Championship reign? Do you like his stories? Do you like his matches? Do you want to see him lose the title before WrestleMania? Do you want to see him lose the title at WrestleMania? Let your boy know. Let's talk about this wrestling thing. Be respectful as always, my people. Social media is in the description. Where it's always is, hit your boy up. Be respectful. Until the next video. Oh, oh, oh. Your boy, the Wildcat, Jay Troy. Uh -huh. It's out.